Let's get comfy, let's get cozy. Grab yourself a cup of tea, although I don't have one. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and another video. Today's video is going to be a Nasty Gal and ASOS haul. ASOS was a little bit of a fail but we won't go there, we'll start with the positivities. I did my first order on Nasty Gal because I heard loads of good things about it. Everyone was talking about it and saying get 50% off all the time on the website which at the time I got 50% off my shopping. I'm not sure at the moment what's offers on but there's always offers on the website and I wanted to have a little try by ordering a couple of things, seeing what they're like seeing how the quality of the products are and so that is what I just did. I ordered a little couple of things and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up and I also ordered some stuff off ASOS because I always order off ASOS and um, this time it was a slight fail but I'm going to show you guys the things I got anyway um, because I've just taken this ring off because I feel like it's not a vibe. Is that a vibe? I don't know. My nails aren't done at the moment. Just keeping it real. I need to get my nails done. I need to get my roots done. Um, it's okay. <laughs> you guys aren't going to judge. So without further further ado, I'm going to start with the first item, which is something, I'm going to start with ASOS actually. I'm going to start with ASOS because a couple, they sent me one, they sent me the wrong item, and two, the other things, I'm going to show you. Let's start rambling, let's get started into this video. Um, so without further ado, I will show you the first item that I got from ASOS. The first item I got from ASOS is this, these, this is why I'm starting with this item, because this is not going to be a try on for this item, because it is the wrong item. I ordered some new look mom jeans mom is that how you say it mom jeans i don't know um i ordered some new look mom jeans and i wanted to see if they'd fit my figure because all my jeans i always go for skinny and they never um i always go for skinny and never go to any other sizing because i just think skinny go for that that'll look good but i was like no i'm gonna try a different type of jean um and so i ordered it maybe it's fate because they sent me skinny jeans. But I'm not trying them on because I've got too many of jeans in this colour, but I just wanted to show you the ones they sent me instead. Um, they sent me the Jenna jeans in size six. Um, they're just this kind of like light denim, but not also light denim, with this like ripped knee. I don't need any more ripped knee jeans. Um, I don't know why they sent me these jeans, because obviously they're the wrong type of jeans. But they're quite nice. Um, I just, it's not what I ordered basically. That is the long and short of it. It's not what I ordered and I'm not gonna keep them. It's not something I probably would choose either. Um, they're just a basic jean, um, Jenna jean. If I can find them on the website, I will link all the items below, but at the moment I'm not, I wouldn't recommend them because this, this isn't what I chose to order, if you know what I mean. I wanted my mom jeans. Really good, that's the one thing out of this whole ASOS order that I really wanted. But anyway, here is my failed attempt at ordering mum jeans. Now on to the try and haul. I've taken clips of every single item here I'm about to show you. Um, so hopefully you can see better what the item looks like on the length, the size, um, you know, and five foot and a little bit. So hopefully this will give you like a good image of what it looks like on. I don't know what you're thinking of this necklace. This is one of the things I actually got in my order with Nasty Gal and it's so pretty, but I don't know what I'm thinking about because I'm not used to wearing a necklace. So yeah, anyway. Stop rambling, Harry. So the second item I picked up from ASOS is this Adidas um, sweatshirt. I've gone obsessed for like sporty kind of um, styled stuff. This is an Adidas white sweatshirt. Um, I don't know why I ordered this. Before I saw Adidas and be like, ew, Adidas, so not me. But now I'm like, ooh, Adidas, that looks quite cool. With some trainers and like some nice fitness gear, like you've actually worked out, but really the most work working out I do is walking the dog. Um, so I got this white Adidas sweatshirt. It is super long, but I'm gonna show you guys in a minute what it looks like on. It probably will be sent back because um, it's much longer than I expected and I'll maybe order it a different size because I got it in a size medium thinking it would be like, small would be really really small a medium would be small but it's not the case there must be good sizings of adidas so yeah look how long it is i mean like so let's go see what it looks like on so this is the adidas white sweatshirt same thing it's too long maybe guys this is short people problems and this is why it doesn't fit me um i really love the white sweatshirt vibe at the moment but i think i have to send it back and get a small this is a size medium so girls if you're watching this and you are small don't get it. <laughs> I'm five foot and a little bit, that little bit counts if you guys are watching this and you're like um, wanting to know my size. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't fit right. My idea was just to have it tucked in with some jeans. Let's just grab a handbag, style it up with a handbag. Um, I thought it would look really cool. Maybe some like V-Box because V-Box is my favorite trainers in the world. Um, it's just too baggy. <laughs> look at that. 
it's going back. <laughs> Guys, I've tied my hair. I've tied my hair back because it's driving me insane. Anyone else get their hair in this like mid-length thing and it starts to drive them slowly up the wall? That is me at the moment. Let's just put it in like a low ponytail. That's better. So, um, then I ordered this Reebok sweatshirt and it's like, same situation as the Adidas one, it's longer. This was actually in the men's section, so I can't really say much about the length because I should have known it was going to be long. But I ordered it in a small, I mean if this is a man's small, this man must be small. Because look! What the fudge? It's so long and big. Um, so I'm going to try this on and see what I think. I think this will be a keep, but just I need to sort of figure out how I'm going to get what I'm going to do with the length. Maybe it's a chop off the bottom kind of case. Never done a bit of DIY clothing, but it could work. But I do really like this. It's in a size medium and let's see what it looks like on. So this is the Reebok sweatshirt that I got. This is actually a man's size um, sweatshirt. It is in a size medium and it's a bit long, but like I obviously can't complain because it's meant for a man. But I was, my idea was to like pull it up, like pull it up and like tuck it into like my belt, but I'm just a bit undecided if there's too much material on this item. Um, it was actually in the sale and it was like 31 pounds, something like that, but everything will be linked below. I just feel like there's too much material. It's super soft in the inside, so part of me wants to just like make it work, maybe with some like leggings or some like fitness leggings. Make it like I've been to the gym and then I've put this on after, which I definitely have not done. Um, <laughs> and I really like it. I love white sweatshirts because I've always got a tan and I just feel like they would complement your tan really well. But I just don't know about this one. I love this, the writing. I just wish it wasn't so long. Like, look how long it is on me. It's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> um, but I do really like it and I'm hoping I can just kind of maybe shrink it and just have it tucked into my belt. It's too much material. Definitely too much material. I don't know what to do with it bit undecided but I do really like it if it was like chopped here maybe I could like raw cut chop the chop it off I don't know let me know in the comments what you think before I return it um maybe I could like chop it up to here and have it I don't know I don't know what to do I really like it though I really like it and it fits my arms quite nice as well it's just the body it's a bit too long moving on to nasty gal and everything I picked from nasty gal because that is why you guys are here people probably haven't shopped on nasty gal as much as the shops on asos and all these other websites because i think like it's a new i think it's like a, it feels like a new shop to the market that people are like okay what is this nasty gal shop there's always offers on it there's always deals on it and i always see people met well people have messaged me since i said i've ordered saying please show the items and what the quality is like and all this sort of stuff are we getting ripped off with it always been like a 50 percent off or 75 percent off you know all these different deals they do um, so yeah, this is the black, like, first of all, there's a black bardo top. Now in my try on clip in a minute, you'll see I've got a black brow under it. I wouldn't style it with that. I'd style it with like a really nice, maybe like a lacy, like a boob tube style top or any other suggestions you guys can think of. Let me know in the comments. So it's this really nice, like see-through style, polka dotted um, bardo top. Um, it's got so much material. That is the only thing putting me off it is the fact it's got so much material maybe it would have been better if it's like a tiny bit shorter or maybe i should just be taller in general <laughs> but it's got so much material it's super see-free so it would look really nice with just like a nice boob tube under it um maybe tucked into some like the black leather jeans some ripped jeans if you wanted to edge it up a bit i keep saying the word edgy at the moment i'm definitely not edgy but like I like to think that I could be. Um, so yeah, it's it's really, really nice. Um, it's just got this really nice, I don't know, it's just comfy. It's just floaty. If you're going out for pizza, this would be a nice top to wear. <laughs> um, it's just really nice and floaty and I will show you what it looks like on in just a second. Next thing I picked up is this like super long black floaty. Guys, I've had to put my brow under it so just like bear with it. I need to get a boob tube um, from wherever I need, to, I need to look online at a boob tube but it's just this super nice like black floaty um bado top and i really like this kind of floaty vibe i do think it would look really nice with like a boob tube under it or you could wear like a really nice i don't know like a lacy kind of boob tube if we could find one of them i've been out on a hunt for one when i go to primac um yeah i really like this really like this i don't i don't know i, do, I like it but i'm concerned it's too long so I don't know. Um, let me know what you think. I then picked up this blouse. Now I'm gonna go there with the blouses. I've gone a bit mad. I love a good blouse. I am obsessed at the moment with blouses. I'm searching online like blouses, blouses, blouses. And I don't know why, are they even a thing? I just like the fact that it could be like off the shoulder, tucked in with a nice like lacy kind of like bra. Um, so yeah, I picked up this really nice kind of like polka dot effect. Um, it's like a 
browny kind of color with like black dots um polka dot effect blouse i just love it. it's like a dalmatian print isn't it really it's got a tie at the front and um, my visions was to have it a little off the shoulder with like a nice black lacy bralette leather jacket ripped jeans some black boots i thought it might look quite cool um but i don't know see what you guys think i bought it in a size what size did i get it in a medium i got it in size medium um I really like it. The quality of the clothes, although I've only ordered two items, that was purely because I didn't know what the quality would be like. Um, but they do feel really good. They feel just as good as you'd, just as good as you'd get in Primark. Um, and I literally, I think I paid something like twelve pound fifty for this, and I didn't pay much more for the black bardo top. But I'm going to link everything below so you can pick it up if you want to after you've seen this video. Um, so yeah, I really really like this. Um, yeah. Very impressed. Let's try it on. This gorgeous like blouse. I've gone really mad for blouse with like jeans at the moment and I just like my handbag with it and my leather jacket. I think it looks it's like a really nice casual smart look where you can you can go out and it just looks like effortless. This is a like kind of like a polka dotty kind of blouse. I don't know if it makes me look a bit like I don't know. So it maybe look cool? And maybe a bit like off the shoulder um, with a denim jacket, not a denim jacket or a leather jacket. It might look really cool, but I'm definitely gonna Excuse my white stomach, I didn't tan my stomach this morning. Who else does that? Tans their arms and their face. Um, maybe like off the shoulder a little bit with a handbag, some sandals or um, some trainers. It could look like a really smart kind of casual look for the summer um, or spring. And yeah, I really like this. For these jeans, if anyone's wondering, they're actually from Zara, but I got them on eBay. Um, but they still have them on the Zara website. They're just really cool, like a light denim. But yeah, I do like this. I then picked up like this gorgeous orange um, snake print effect belt with like a rose gold buckle on it but I'm just going to insert the clip now. I then picked up this gorgeous um, like a snake print kind of effect like it's got like kind of like yeah snake print effect with this gorgeous like gold ring and I just think it's a bit different from the usual like you know how we're all wearing like the Gucci belts at the moment or the sort of not fake Gucci belts but the dupes of the Gucci belt. I just feel like it's a really nice belt. Something a bit different from um, what we've all been wearing, hands up, I wear them too, do you know what I mean? But I just think it's a little bit different, it looks a little bit classier if you're going out and about, and I just really like it, um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. But not least, the last item I picked up, well it wasn't the last item actually, I picked this up, I think maybe this was added to my basket, like maybe the second or third item, but I just love these like little dainty um, necklaces, um, I feel like it can just, if I, I like quite a lot of plain tops, I like quite like things that are off the shoulder and I always find that my chest has not got anything on it and I just think this little necklace is just so cute and so dainty it just kind of mm, is it gonna sit it does something to the middle do you know what I mean you know what I mean it does something I just think it's really really pretty um so yeah that is the last item I picked up from Nasty Gal so yeah that is everything I picked up from Nasty Gal and ASOS. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I loved fil I love filming at the moment like fashion haul try-ons. Um, I really enjoyed filming my eBay one the other day so if you haven't checked that out I will link that below. Um, and let me know if you like seeing my fashion style videos. I'm going into Primark tomorrow and I'm so excited about going into Primark like so flipping excited um, because it's just the fact that I haven't been in for about a month. Last time I went, the last time I went in about a month ago it was a bit of a hit or miss at the moment and I was thinking it's going to be so good. So if you want to see more videos on my channel, I've got a Primark haul coming up, a Poundland haul coming up, all the good hauls you could love coming up on this channel. So please hit that subscribe button if you would love to see them. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!